Welcome to my plow rail YouTube project. Today we're going to be building a basic plow rail train track using the following pieces. There's an assortment of trains that can be used. I'll be mostly just using a Shinkansen train, which is a bullet train. There are commuter trains. In this clip here, I'm going to show you how to turn on the Shinkansen and how to change the battery. Uh, here you can see that you unscrew and just put in a AA battery, pretty simple. Uh, the train has an off position, an on position, and a high position. The on position is basically the medium speed and high, of course, is high speed. Pretty cool outlay. They can be attached uh, by fastening the different cars. Uh, usually the train comes with three cars. The, car that, the front car that will power the entire train and then you have the middle and the caboose. Pretty basic, pretty simple, but pretty awesome. Let's get down to business. So we're going to take basic, the basic parts, the straight and the curved, and we're going to uh, attach. Pretty easy to attach these plow rail plastic pieces. They just fasten one to the other as uh, shown here. Pretty basic and pretty simple. Another piece that we're going to be using in this project is an elevated curve track and this will help get the train from one level to the other with the aid of these yellow brackets that attach to the bottom of the curve pieces. Uh, pretty simple and you're going to do it uh, from step to step. Another basic uh, example on how to fasten the pieces together, so we're going to put the straight pieces together and then we'll put the curved pieces and add uh, an elevated uh, curved piece as well because like I said we're going to build a track that's pretty basic but we want to get the train from one level to the other and this is uh, an example of how we do that. We're starting to complete the main part here of, of taking the train from level 1 to level 2. As you can see there's a nice gradual incline that helps the train get from one level to the other. Uh, when you're fastening the brackets and you're putting the attachments to go on to the next level, you want to make sure that you do it uh, in, the, in the weak areas of the, of the track. Uh, now you can see that we've got level 1, level 2, and level 3. We're going to take the train from level 3 to level 2 with adding this elongated piece that's curved downwards. And then we'll take another elongated, elongated curved piece and we'll, we'll bring it from level 2 to level 1. Fasten it and you're ready to go and the train will make a nice decline here. It's important that you have the descent be gradual because if it's not then of course the train will fall off the track as shown. This is what it will look like as the end product. And as you can see it's going to come up and then go down nicely without falling off the track. Beautiful. And then it's going to go through the train crossing and back up and around. It's starting to look really really good. Again there's a picture of it not being properly put together and it'll fall off the track quite easily. This is a station where it can stop uh, and then of course you switch the button to on and it can release the train. Nice little feature. And sort of here's the end product as the train goes up and down and around. There's many different tracks and trains that you can build. Uh, you can use your imagination to build almost anything uh, with the right amount of parts and the right amount of imagination. It's really a fantastic product. My son and I have uh, numerous hours of fun with this. Uh, we love it, and I highly recommend Plow Rail trains to anybody. Thank you for watching my YouTube video. Uh, have a wonderful day.